It's a real conundrum. On the one hand, you're still getting hormonal breakouts on your chin. You know what I mean? That dreaded triangle of doom, as I call it. And yet, you're starting to see the first signs of premature aging. Your skin's not quite as snappy as it used to be. There's a bit of crinkling happening around here. Maybe the texture's not quite as refined. And maybe you can't get away with four hours sleep as well as you used to. So what to do? Given that a lot of the anti-aging skincare market is often not formulated that well for acne-prone skin, and the anti-blemish market largely targets teenagers, meaning that the products aren't designed to be that little bit more supportive and caring of skin that's prone to drying out. So today's video is about the four active ingredients that I think really suit grown-up skin with the anti-blemish concern, but also the worry about premature aging. So let's get into it. So first up, favorite of all favorites, retinoids are the go-to ingredient when it comes to tackling both acne-prone skin and premature aging prevention. And that's because of the numerous ways they affect our skin's function. So on the one hand, they regulate the tendency for skin cells to clump up and form those little pesky blockages called comedones, which are the precursor lesion of all blemishes. So by regulating that process, our skin cells smoothly come away, they exfoliate nicely, they don't clog up. And if you don't clog up, you're unlikely to break out. But on the other hand, they also target the pathways that contribute to collagen synthesis. So switching on the production of that scaffolding protein that gives our skin its thickness and its resistance to creasing. So two special actions that make such a big difference, whether you're concerned about breakouts or fine lines and wrinkles. Next up, we have azelaic acid. And you all know that I am a huge azelaic acid cheerleader. I think it's an amazing active ingredient, but how is it relevant to these two situations? Well, for acne sufferers, we have an agent that is yet again, all about regulating the skin cycle and preventing those clumping cells from blocking up our pores but it also refines texture and it also modifies the inflammatory process. So it calms down active blemishes that you have already. So it's quite a powerful way of tackling acne at multiple points in the pathway. Plus it helps those pesky dark marks after the spots disappear. As far as aging goes, the main things it's going to do is to help again with texture, it's going to refine and polish your skin, and it's going to improve hyperpigmentation. So things like solar lentigos will get better with the long-term use of azelaic acid. And if you suffer from melasma, well, again, that's going to help with that too. He's very active today, guys, but you know, what can I say? He likes a filming day. The other thing to say about azelaic acid is it's a useful antioxidant as well. I think we're really still on picking all the ways it benefits the skin, but um, it's definitely my number two ingredient when it comes to tackling both the concerns we're talking about today. Number three is niacinamide or vitamin B3, a skin-loving B vitamin that's helpful in both premature aging and blemish-prone skin. And it's helpful in dry skin to boot because it boosts ceramide production. So I think it's particularly helpful in grown-up skin, which is often that little bit drier and can struggle to tolerate the more potent retinoids, especially if you then start adding in azelaic acid as well. So I'll often use niacinamide almost like a pre-treatment to condition skin, to make it that bit more resilient, to boost barrier function before I start my retinoids and any other additional active ingredients. Plus it's great around the eye area. So a fantastic ingredient and I think suitable for most. And then the final ingredient for your consideration is Bacuchiol, the plant extract that's considered natural retinol. Now, I don't really like that term. Um, it's a plant extract. It has a similar way of acting uh, when it comes to the retinoid receptors, albeit that it's not a true retinoid itself. 
So it unlocks those same pathways in normalizing keratinization. It's anti-inflammatory as well, and probably not dissimilar in potency to something like salicylic acid. And it has d proven benefits uh, in terms of the signs of aging. Um, other additional good news with Picucci oils, it doesn't sensitize us to UV light and it doesn't break down under the exposure of UV light, meaning it's suitable for daytime as well. So there's absolutely no reason not to combine that into uh, a routine with all the other active ingredients that I've mentioned before. And it's really low irritancy as well. So if you're someone with sensitive skin, it's often a great way to start out on your treatment journey. So I hope you'll see that the best ingredients are often very versatile and beneficial in more than one situation. And I think the four ingredients I've mentioned today are real superstars in their own right, but even more powerful when you bring them together and get synergy. So plug those ingredients into a non-comedogenic skincare system of cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen, and you'll have a winning treatment plan to tackle both signs of premature aging and blemish prone skin. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and support the channel. Um, we really appreciate your views and your comments. We release content on a weekly basis. So let me know if this is floating your boat. And I'll see you again soon.